Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Thou who hast suffered wounds for us. O Christ Jesus, have mercy on us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I will go unto the altar of God. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, let us confess our sins to God and prepare ourselves that we may worthily participate in this holy sacrifice. And now let us turn unto the altar of God and make an examination of conscience. Having confessed our sins unto God and asking for his forgiveness, I will offer the act of confession. I confess to Almighty God, one in the Holy Trinity, in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned in thought, word, and deed, by my fault, by my fault, by my own great fault. I ask the Blessed Mother Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive our sins, and bring us unto life everlasting. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant us pardon, absolution, and remission of our sins. Amen. May our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me by him, I absolve you of your sins. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, you will again renew us. And your people will rejoice in you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. O Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Take our sins away from us, Lord, so that we might enter the Holy of Holies through Christ our Lord. Amen. Do me justice, O God, and fight my fight against a faithless people. From deceitful and impious men, rescue me. For you, O God, are my strength. Why do you keep me so far away? Why must I go about in mourning with the enemy oppressing me? Lord, for us your wounds were suffered. O oh, Christ Jesus, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Father in heaven, the love of your Son led him to cross of suffering, that his brothers and sisters might have new life. Help us to live in the world you gave us. Transform it from darkness into the life and joy of Easter. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity with the Holy Spirit and art one God forever and ever. Amen. On this Passion Sunday, we take the first reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The days are coming, says the Lord when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah. It will not be like the covenant I made with their fathers, the day I took them by the hand 
to lead them forth from the land of Egypt, for they broke my covenant. And I had to show myself their master, says the Lord. But this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord. I will place my law within them and write it upon their hearts. I will be their God and they shall be my people. No longer will they have need to teach their friends and relatives how to know the Lord. All from the least to greatest shall know me, says the Lord, for I will forgive their evil doing and remember their sin no more. This is the word of the Lord. Rescue me from my enemies, O Lord, for in you I hope. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. The second reading for today is taken from the letter to the Hebrews. In the days of Christ Jesus, when he was in the flesh, he offered prayers and supplications with loud cries and tears to the one who was able to save him from death. And he was heard because of his reverence. Son though he was, he learned obedience from what he suffered. And when he was made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him. This is the word of the Lord. The track. Much have they oppressed me for my youth. Let Israel say, Much have they oppressed me for my youth, yet they have not prevailed against me. Upon my back the powers plowed. Long did they make their furrows, but the just Lord has severed the cords of the wicked. Almighty and eternal God, who cleansed the lips of the prophet Isaiah with a burning coal. Cleanse my heart and my lips through your gracious mercy, that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be in my heart and on my lips, that I may worthily proclaim his holy gospel. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also A reading from the holy gospel according to St. John. Glory some Greeks who had come to worship at the Passover feast came to Philip, who was from Bashada in Galilee, and asked him, Sir, we would like to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew. Then Andrew and Philip went and told Jesus. Jesus answered them, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces more fruit. Whoever loves his life loses it, and whoever hates his life in this world will preserve it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there also will my servant be. The Father will honor whoever serves me. I am troubled now. Yet what should I say? Father, save me from this hour. But it was for this purpose that I came to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it and will glorify it again. The crowd there heard it and said it was thunder, but others said an angel had spoken to him. Jesus answered and said, The voice did not come for my sake, but for yours. Now is the time of judgment on this world. 
now the ruler of this world will be driven out. And when I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw everyone to myself. He said this, indicating the kind of death he would die. This is the gospel of the Lord. May the name of Jesus be praised by all of us now and forevermore. Amen. And Jesus said, I am troubled now, but what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour, but it was for this purpose that I came to this hour. These words are taken from today's Gospel according to St. John. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. To you, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. Today, on this Passion Sunday, Christians begin a two-week period of somber reflection and are drawn to the events that took place in Jerusalem circa 29 AD. From today through Palm Sunday, which we will celebrate next week, to Easter the following week, followers of the Lord are called upon to walk through prayer, fasting, and meditation, the way of the cross of Jesus, and to share in his divine passion. For many churches such as ours, Passion Sunday is expressed with the covering of the crosses and the statues in purple, which calls upon all to be penitent. Even some of the liturgy is changed on this Passion Sunday. For us, the entrance hymn is no longer intoned or said, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, with the response as it was, and the beginning is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. But is replaced with, Lord, for us, your wounds were suffered. And the response is, O Christ Jesus, have mercy on us. Until Easter, no alleluias will be said, and the alleluia verse has been replaced during this Lenten season with a track which is read prior to the readings of the gospel of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The Passion of Our Lord. Do you know that the word passion comes from the Latin word pati, which means to suffer? Webster defines passion as a strong feeling, especially of anger, love, or desire. And the word passion for Christians 
deals with the sufferings of Christ between the night of his Last Supper and his crucifixion. In the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, it tells us a lot about the passion of Jesus. They tell us that Jesus knew what was going to happen to him, that he was to suffer for man. In the Gospel of Luke, chapter 9, verse 22, Jesus prophesied, For I, Son of Man, must suffer many terrible things, and I will be rejected by the leaders, the leading priests, and the teachers of religious law, and I will be killed. My brothers and sisters, the sufferings of Jesus were not only those of intense physical agony, but also an intense mental ordeal for him. Jesus was to be scorned and hated by those for whom he came to heal, to teach, and to save. How painful it must have been for him. Having this unconditional love, not only spurned and denied, but it was thrown back to him with so much anger and hatred. In Luke, we read that not only Pilate, but also Herod tried to save Jesus from death. But many of the religious leaders, as Jesus prophesied, called for his death. In Luke 22, 23, verses 13 through 16, we read, And Pilate then called together the chief priests, the leaders, and the people, and said to them, You brought me this man as one who was perverting the people, and here I have examined him in your presence, and have found this man not guilty of any of your charges against him, neither has Herod. For he sent them back to us. Indeed, he has done nothing wrong to deserve death. I will therefore have him flogged and release him. We also read that Pilate, not being able to have any kind of a compromise in trying to save Jesus from being put to death, washes his hands and says, I wash my hands free of this innocent man. When we talk of the passion of our Lord, we also recall the emotional pain that Jesus himself suffered and endured prior to his arrest. In Luke chapter 22, it tells about the pain that Jesus went through in the Garden of Gethsemane following the Last Supper. And he, Jesus, prayed more fervently. And he was in such agony of spirit that his sweat fell to the ground like great drops of blood. Having seen other people crucified in his life, Jesus knew of the pain and suffering he would soon experience but his death was his mission. As he prayed unto the Father in that garden of Gethsemane, that the cup of his ordeal and passion be taken away. But in the end, he ended his prayer to the Father with these words, Not as I will, but yours be done. This is the most intensive part of the passion of Jesus, that he chose to die for my sins, for your sins, for the sins of the world. The passion of Jesus should cause each of us to stop and to bring to our minds and hearts today, 
Not only was there a deep passion of suffering, when he took upon himself the cross in which he was to be crucified, but Jesus showed another side of passion, a deeper and a more intense passion than his own suffering. It was the passion of divine love that he as the Lamb of God did all this for me, for you, for all of us, because he loved us. He forgave us of all our faults and he offered himself as a payment for all our sins. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the name of Jesus Christ be praised by all of us, now and forevermore. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made of one being with the Father, through him all things were made for us and for our salvation. He came down from heaven by the power of the Holy Spirit. He was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. O Lord, I am your servant. I am your servant, the son of your handmaid. You have loosened my bonds. To you will I offer sacrifice of thanksgiving, and I will call upon the name of the Lord.
receive this offering, most holy Trinity, which we make in the remembrance of the passion, resurrection, and ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ. And in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints, that it may add to their honor and aid in our salvation, may they whose memory we honor on earth intercede for us in heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our gifts of love and sacrifice may truly be accepted this day by God, our Heavenly Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the benefit of this holy church. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, look kindly on our offerings and accept them. May these offerings free us from the bondage of sin and win for us your most loving mercy. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The whole Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your poor hearts. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. The suffering and death of your Son brought life to the whole world, moving our hearts to praise your glory. The power of the cross reveals your judgment of the, his world and the kingship of Christ who was crucified. Therefore, we he join with the voices of the angels and dark angels, of all the saints in the entire church, and we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating unceasingly. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Zanana in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Most merciful Father, we most humbly pray and ask you through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, to accept and to bless these gifts, these presents, these holy and spotless sacrifices, which we offer to you in the first place for your holy Catholic Church, that you would guide it in peace, defense, and unity throughout the world. With its bishops and priests, especially Anthony, our prime bishop, and Paul, our bishop, and all who profess the true orthodox and Catholic faith which comes to us from the apostles. Remember your servants, O Lord. In our prayers today, let us remember the sick, the suffering, and the dying, the hungry, the homeless, and the unemployed. Let us remember in prayer all those who are suffering from the coronavirus and pray for them and for their families. Let us pray that God would give strength to the doctors, the nurses, the first responders, and all the caregivers. Let us remember and keep in our hearts and pray for all abused and neglected children in our world, all abused and neglected animals, all those who suffer for the sake of following Christ. Let us also remember in our prayers those who serve in our armed forces, both here and abroad, that Almighty God might watch over all and return them to their homes and to their families. And also let us remember all here who are present and their loved ones whose faith and devotion are known to you for whom we offer or who offer up to you the sacrifice of praise for themselves and all their own for the hope of salvation and deliverance and who freely choose to serve you the living eternal and true god we join in communion with and honor above all others the memory of mary the glorious virgin mother of our lord and god jesus christ also your blessed apostles martyrs and confessors 
together with all the countless number of saintly men and women of all nations, but especially of our nation, who live, suffered, and died for the glory of your name and the coming of your kingdom. May the remembrance of these praiseworthy people encourage us to follow their heroic example, making us worthy of your grace and love. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We ask you, Lord, to graciously accept our offering of that of your whole family, and so order our days in your peace, that we may be saved from spiritual damnation and counted among the flock of your chosen people. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. O oh God, we ask you to bless, to accept, and to confirm this offering, and to make it pleasing unto yourself, so that it may be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit, and become for us the body and the blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. The day before his suffering and death, in order to manifest his infinite love to his disciples, and through them to all who would believe in him, to fill the hearts of his followers with the fire of this love, draw them to himself, make them joyful, and save them. He instituted these holy mysteries, in which spiritually and bodily in his entire being, he again lives among his people. At that sole moment, so sacred for the whole human family, our Savior took bread into his holy and venerable hands, and having lifted his eyes to heaven, to you, God, his almighty Father, and giving thanks to you. He blessed it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which is given for you. manner after supper, taking this excellent chalice into his holy and venerable hands, again giving thanks to you. He blessed it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. Therefore, in remembrance of this Christ, your Son, O Lord, and his blessed passion, resurrection, and his glorious ascension, we, your servants and faithful people, offer to your divine majesty from your own gifts and presence a pure offering, a holy offering, an immaculate offering, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Vow safe and be pleased to regard these offerings with favor and joy and accept them as you receive the gifts of your just servant Abel, the sacrifice of our patriarch Abraham, and that which your high priest Melchizedek offered you, a holy sacrifice and immaculate host. We humbly ask you, Almighty God, command that this offering be brought by the hands of your holy angel to your high altar into the presence of your divine majesty, that we receive the most sacred body and blood of your Son from this altar may be filled with every blessing and grace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and who now sleep in peace. To these souls, Lord, and all who rest in Christ, grant we pray a place of refreshment, light, and peace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. And grant us, your sinful servants, who hope in the greatness of your mercy, some part in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, and with all your saints, who shed their blood for your name. Their hearts were always open to justice and mercy, 
and with lives patterned after their divine master, merited eternal joy. Number us in their company, Lord, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses through Christ our Lord. Amen. By whom you always create, sanctify, revive, bless, and freely give us all these good things. Through him, with him, in him, all honor and glory are yours, almighty Father. In the unity of the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever, Amen. let us pray, instructed by our Savior's teaching and following the divine example, we say with confidence Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, from all evils past, present, and future, and by the intercession of the blessed and glorious Mother of God, Mary, together with your blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, is also Andrew, and all the saints, grant us peace in our day, that being supported by the help of your mercy, we may be free from sin and secure from all disturbance. Through the same, Jesus Christ, your Son and our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever, Amen. may the peace of the Lord be with you always. May this commingling and consecration of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ help us who receive it to everlasting life. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not upon our sins, but upon the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free me from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me faithful to your teaching and never let me be parted from you, who lives and reigns God forever and ever. Amen. May the partaking of your body and blood, Lord Jesus, not be cause for my judgment or condemnation, though I am unworthy to receive this great sacrament, through your loving kindness, may become my safeguard and healing remedy, our saving master. Awaken in us a living faith, fervent love, worship, adoration, and a holy longing. Through this communion, make us your willing servants, zealous to fulfill your holy will. May it at last unite us entirely with you, our Lord and our God. Grant us who lives and reigns with God the Father in the unity with the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. I will take the bread of heaven, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. May the body of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul unto life everlasting. Amen. What shall I return unto the Lord? For all the graces he hath rendered unto me. I will take the chalice of salvation, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. With high praise will I call upon him, and I shall be saved from all my enemies. May the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul unto life everlasting. 
Amen. And now, my brothers and sisters, let us offer the act of spiritual communion. Let us pray. Most loving Jesus, I adore you in the most blessed sacrament in which you are truly present. I love you above all things and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart and heal my soul. I embrace you and unite myself with you. May I never be separated from you. Inflame my heart with the fire of your love, my Lord and Savior. Amen. Unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat, but if it dies, it produces much fruit. The Lord be with you. And also Let us pray. Almighty Father, through this Eucharist, draw us closer to your Son, that we may die and rise with him, to the glory of your most holy name, we ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let, let us bless the Lord. May the tribute of our worship be pleasing to you, most holy Trinity. Grant that the sacrifice which I, the one worthy, have offered up into the sight of your majesty be acceptable to you. Through your mercy may be effective for myself and for all those for whom we have offered it. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the almighty and merciful God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, Lord. In the beginning was the Word, the Word was in God's presence, and the Word was God. He was present to God in the beginning, through Him all things came into being, 
and apart from him nothing came to be. Whatever came to be in him found the life, life of the light of men. The light shines on in the darkness, a darkness that did not overcome it. There was a man named John sent by God who came as a witness to testify to the light so that through him all might believe, but only to testify to light, for he himself was not the light. The real light which gives light to every man was coming into the world. He was in the world and through him the world was made, yet the world did not know who he was. To his own he came, yet his own did not accept him. Any who did accept him he empowered to become children of God. These are they who believe in his name, who are begotten not by blood, nor by cardinal desire, nor by man's willing it, but by God, the Word. He came flesh and made his dwelling among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory of an only Son coming from the Father, filled with enduring love. My dear brothers and sisters, I welcome you as we offer the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. It is my prayer that the good Lord might bless all of you, your family and your friends. I bring to mind that next Sunday at 9 o'clock, our church will celebrate Palm Sunday. Invitation is extended to all. Also, following our service at 9 o'clock, we will be offering palms outside of our church to those who would like to receive. We will be distributing palms at 10 o'clock to those who would like to receive. And now, let us conclude with the offering of a prayer for all the intentions we offer this day, as well as for all our faithful departed loved ones. May God bless all of you. May God keep all of you safe. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Thou who hast suffered wounds for us, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. And for the repose of the souls of all our faithful departed loved ones, eternal rest grant unto their souls, O Lord. May perpetual light shine upon them. May they all rest in peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.